You're in charge of your life. You're the one that holds you back. You're the one that pushes yourself forward. And it's up to you to make the most of life. Ita Buttrose is an Australian media trailblazer. She a bit out of focus. She was the founding editor of Clio magazine. Why can't we ever get them smiling? They always look as though they're going to a bloody funeral. The youngest ever editor of the Australian Women's Weekly. It's a friend. I think the Women's Weekly is a friend. She was the first woman to edit a major metropolitan newspaper in Australia. She was also a student once. When I was a teenager, my life was very relaxed. I had three brothers. Whatever they did, I did. I tried to beat them at everything. We'd all go down to the beach with our dogs and we'd play all day, cowboys and Indians, go swimming, whatever. And then we'd all come home in the evening for dinner. It was a very carefree, lovely childhood. I liked school. I was reasonably good at most things, but I was very keen to leave school. I don't know why I was so keen to leave school, but I was, and probably because I was 11 when I decided I wanted to be a journalist. And, and from that day on, that was my only dream. And that's what I pursued. So I left school at 15 and got a job as a copy girl on the Australian Women's Weekly. And as far as I was concerned, I was on my way. If journalism didn't work out, did you have a backup plan? No, I never envisaged that it wouldn't work out. Never. But you know, the thing is... When I started Clio magazine, I guess we were breaking new ground. One could even look back at the early Clios and say maybe that was quite innocent the way they wrote about sex and health. It was, it was a nicer world. And, and so we were, we were all exploring sex together. So, you know, you think you're making a difference, but you don't know until you look back. What are some of the challenges that you've had to overcome? I've certainly met obstacles. I've certainly had staff who have thought, what is a woman doing here? This is a, this is a job for a bloke. What's a woman doing here? There is always a way around obstacles. And I have learnt that. You have to persevere. You have to try a little bit harder. But I'm never going to go away. I'm not going to let an obstacle defeat me from achieving any goal. If someone had told me how my life was going to turn out when I started work at 15, I wouldn't have believed them. I, I didn't have any grand plans when I started my career. I, I thought, like a lot of girls did at that time, that I'd work for a couple of years and um, get married and have children and go home. And that was, that was that it was assumed that that's what we would do. I remember saying to my mother and my aunt, but I might be bored if I, if I stay at home. No, no, you won't be bored, they said. You'll have the house to run and the children to look after. I'm not sure I believed them. And so I did marry and I did have children, but I, but I kept working. And, and, and then at some point, maybe when I was in my 20s, I realised that maybe I could go further than I'd ever thought of, that maybe I could go right up to the very top. What do you consider your greatest achievement? My greatest achievement, without any, any doubt at all, are my two children. Uh, they are they are my life. I think my life would have been poor without them. They have made my life very rich. They've given me enormous joy. What advice would you have for young people today who are perhaps struggling to find their place in the world? The advice I usually give to young people, if they ask me for it, is don't let anyone talk you out of your dreams. Because I believe that deep inside of us, we all know what we want to do and we often let people talk us out of it. But no one else has our dream. Nobody else knows what our secret desires are, where we want to go, what we want to achieve. It's up to each individual to try and make that dream of theirs come true. Believe in yourself and believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else can believe in you.